All right, good morning and welcome to Just Dafit, Daf Yomi Shir. We are arguably doing the most famous uh, sugya in Shas, Pesach Pasuach today, Daf Tes and Ksubos. If you speak to someone about Shas, the first thing they say, Pesach Pasuach, Pesach Pasuach. Right? They don't know they're talking about one of the sugyas that are maybe the most graphic sugyas at all. <laughs> Shas. But Pesach Pasuach, um, if you don't know what it's talking about, we'll find out now. We do know what it's talking about. Um, I really have a huge chiddush today to tell everybody. Um, on the most famous sugi in Shas, uh, I just told it over to some guy over here named Winkler. Uh, he really liked it. He wasn't really holding in the sugi, but he liked what I said. Um, it really is an amazing chiddush. Um, it really opens the door to a lot of a lot of things, and you know, it's kedai far same as they say. It should be publicized in all the yeshivas. This is the shit they got to hear when they're learning Ksuvo stuff tests. Even Ksuvo stuff base is related to this. You got to, if you're learning, you're spending five, six months on, you know, on Pesach Basuach. Some yeshivas, they, they spend, they could spend two months on these dafim, daf tests. Two months they could spend. And they're not hearing the shir from me that I'm going to give you an eight to ten minutes on summarizing the whole daf and explaining the whole beginning of Pesach Ksuvo with one chiddish. That's an amazing chiddish. Uh, and you're not hearing this, you're really losing out. Um, I said to this guy Winkler, I said, first of all, I don't understand why yeshivas, all these Bachram and yeshivas, they're learning ksuvos, learning Pesach Why are they learning ksuvos? Why are they learning Nashim and Zikin? These halachas, first of all, the halachas don't apply to them. Um, which wife do they have? They have no Nashim in their life. They're not, they're not seeing any woman in their lives. They're not in Shidduchim. If they're in Shidduchim, they're in Shidduchim. They're not learning anymore. <laughs> they have their heads somewhere else. And if, you know, and Nazikin, I mean, what money do they have? I mean, they have money their parents give them to go to the pizza store. I mean, you know, what monetary disputes do they have with people? They don't have neighbors to get into monetary disputes with. They don't have, um, they don't have Mazikin. I mean, they don't they don't drive a car. Maybe they do drive a car. I don't know. They're not Mazik other people. If they get into an accident and they, they're Mazik somebody else, you know, they're not the ones paying for it. Their parents are paying for it. They don't have to know these halachas. They, 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 these, these halachas are only gay if they get married, have a family, and involved in real life. So, why are you learning Nashim and Zikin now? You gotta learn it when it's relevant. And second of all, about sugyas like this, Pes Pesua, they can't even understand these things. They can't understand these things until you get married. Until you get married, you have no idea what these things are talking about. Yeah, 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 Pes Pesua. Until you get married and you're familiar with these things, you have no idea what the Gemara is talking about. Why are people learning about this? It's really the opposite. It should be, Bachman should learn about Seder Moed. You know, those are the halachas that apply to them. Learn Orachayim, Mishnah Brua. You know, those are the halachas that apply to them. After you get married, learn Nashim and Zikin. And he says, you know, people have to get married and have no time to learn Nashim and Zik. Okay, so you don't learn it so with Ian. Just listen to my share. Eight to ten minutes be Ian. You learn and learn be Ian over there. And, you know, everything's settled, you know. Get the daf, you owe me a half an hour. I mean, what else do you need, you know? And you go to work also. <laughs> All right. Let's start. <coughs> uh, the bottom of Chedam and Bey's last word. So, I'm a Rebbe Lozar. Top of Tem and Aleph. Omer Pesach Pasuach Matsasi Nem on the Osra Olav. This is Rebbe statement. Someone says Pesach Pasuach. He comes to Basin. He gets married on Wednesday. Has be a preferably a Wednesday night. Comes to Basin Thursday morning. He says, "I was with my wife. You know what? She didn't have besulim. When I went in, um, I found the Pesach Pasuach. There was no besulim. It was easy to go in. There was no there was no resistance. Now on the Ostra love, he can answer her. Right? We're going to see. This is then she doesn't become answer to him. He becomes answer to her." Because there's a din of shavise lenafshe chaticha di sura, a person could ask her something upon himself with his words. He comes to base and he says she had pes vasua. Now why is she asked? So let's see. Am I? Our question: Why should he believe for himself to ask for himself? Sveik sveikahu, right? Sveik sveikahu. We we kind of learn it's mutter mido raisa, so he shouldn't be asked. Savik tachto, savik ain't tachto. First of all, she's only ushered to him if she committed adultery while she was married to him, right? While during the Ariston, she was with another man. So maybe, let's say we believe that Pes she doesn't have a psulim, right? Maybe he's accurate. He knows exactly there's no psulim. Maybe the fact that she has no psulim, she was with, together with another man, right? <clears throat> but uh, she was together with that other man uh, before the Ariston, right? It was Bias Nos, doesn't answer her to her husband. Uh, even telling me that she was with together another man. Maybe she was married. She was, she was she was raped by another man while while she was engaged to him. In which case she wouldn't be ushered to him. Yisrael is only ushered uh, uh, 
through adultery if she did it for Ratzon willingly. The verse of Sricha, Eishas Kohen, our Mishnah is talking about, or later was talking about, Eishas Kohen, the wife of Kohen, she's also even for Ratzon. So they have our 50 50 chance. Suffolk, the rice of the Chumra, Shavisi, and Abshik, the Chadi, the by same, but Eishas Israel. Alternatively, you can say, Rather, I was talking about a man married to a man married to Israel. The Kabbalah, the Kedushan, the Kuzum, the Kedim, the Kedim, the the Kedim, the Kedim, Took place before she turned three years old. So the Allah, the the, the, Metzius, the Gemara says, is that if a girl has bia um, under the age of three, right, her basulim are choser. They go back. They grow back. You know, she had bia. So therefore, the fact that she has no basulim, obviously, it was and she was makabel kedushin. The kedushin was before three years old. Obviously, she had bia after three years old, and she was already engaged to him. So therefore, there's only one suffix, onus or So therefore. She's a sura misafik. The Gemara says, "My kamalasha, what's the chiddush of Elazar?" How do you know? We learned this on a Mishnah Kedushin. Hamor Omer Lisha Kidashtich. I was makadish. You hear Maris Loki Dashani. She denies it. She says you weren't makadish. Me, if you're makadish a woman, then you become usher in our krovim. Her mother, you can't marry. Her sister, you can't marry. Her daughter, you can't marry. He even tells for krova. Who also krova said he ushered himself. He's not believed for her, right? So there's so that's what the then in the mid the commission on Samachay in Amid Aleph in in, in Kedushin says. That this is dinah shavishi now shikid the surah. Why? What's your brother adding? Ma the same house in the body came lay there. He says for sure. I know if I was makadish. I know if I gave her a ring. I will hacha make him with the little kim lay. Here, like the Gemara says, even though rov became batai, most people know how to do ataya. They know how to do be in a way that will penetrate and will break the psulim. Some people don't know and they don't do it propped up on a pillow, as I explained on the above. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to Yom and see on the above. Uh, and explain it, what Rov became by Taya men. So maybe he doesn't he doesn't know. He's one of those twenty percent of people that don't know how to do it, and therefore he's not sure when he says Pesach. So he's making the wrong claim. He just he didn't get to the right place. It's not that he's saying it. There was no resistance. He didn't get to the right place. He wasn't able to get in. Mara says, "Haka will make him look him like here. He's not sure." Kamash Mulan. No, Kamash Ma, we still say that she's Asr because, um, as we learned, that even though Rov became Ataya, that's Rov with Layas Kwan, 20% are not Havaki Ataya. So therefore, we have one suffix, right? We said it's only one suffix. We're not talking about H. Israel, um, where she wasn't Makabal, it was Makabal Kedushin after three years old. It's only one suffix. Either H. Israel or Father's Makabal Kedushin when she's under three years old. It's only one suffix. That's 50%. Plus, you had the twenty percent of maybe he's not a bucky. Rov became a type. Most people are not bucky. He said seventy percent. So I mentioned before seventy percent between sixty-five and seventy percent is sort of doubt and halacha. So therefore, it's not considered fake. Fake a seventy-five percent. That's already a chazaka. That's an assumption. And we wouldn't ask for someone with raisa. Maybe we cheshin on the yuta. We wouldn't ask for someone with raisa. We, we, we rely on the chazaka over here, not to ask her, not to ask him. We wouldn't rely on his words for shavisi the ashkelidusura. But once. It's between 65 or 75 percent. That's a D in the school. That's doubt. It stands for doubt. So therefore, it's a suffix. So therefore, it's only 70 percent. So therefore, that's a chiddush. You would ask her, even though it's not 50, 50 percent, 70 percent, right? <clears throat> Maybe 70 percent. We still ask her, even though it's 30 percent chance, uh, 70 percent chance that it didn't happen, but 30 percent chance, um, uh, uh, the 70 percent chance is enough to ask her. So the Gemara says. That's a different statement. The woman can't be ushered to her husband except you have kina vestira. Kina vestira is a reference to Mitzvah Soto. If you want to make a woman usher to her husband, right, the husband warns his wife not to seclude with a man. And then we, they aid him see that she's secluded with a man, right? <clears throat> Even though they, they don't have testimony that she actually was boel, the other man, she committed adultery, right? That creates a, a sota. A sota is a suffix, right? And so does Asura Labal and Asura Laboel, right? <clears throat> she, so Rabbi says she only becomes Asura the king of Asura. Kamai and like the incident which happened, there's a reference to David about Sheva. We'll see in a second how it's related. So those are the two ways that a woman becomes Asura her husband. With Tisperus, the Gemara says Kamai Shachaya the king of Asura. It seems like it's one reason, right? David became about Sheva, presumably became all right Aser on David and Uriah her husband because of king of Asura. There was no king of Asira. Uh, but oh, me Asrua. Also, by David Batsheva, David Batsheva went ahead and married David afterwards. If she would be ushered to her husband, she would be ushered to the Baal, ushered to the Baal, she would to David also. So, my hello, Kasha, Haki Kabar. A woman is only ushered to her husband 
on Kinoi uh, because of Kinoi Vestira. And Maisa Shahaya, we can prove that from Maisa Shahaya, the law of a Kinoi Vestira, like David and Bashar, there was no Kinoi Vestira below Itzara. Right? It wasn't clear apparently when David was Boal Bathsheba, so there was no Kinoi Vestira. She's not Asra. Mikal Makam Kasha Kinoi Vestira in Pesabasuach Lo. Still, from Nazar, he only said Kinoi Vestira. Pesabasuach. Why did he mention that case? That's a way of Asra. Right? The husband should be Asra to his wife. Well, Tamaya Kinev Vestira in Edom Lo. What are you saying? Only Kinev Vestira. If you have Edom that saw her be Boal, commit adultery, that's for sure good enough to Asra to the husband. El Haki Gamar. Ain't I Yishan Asra to Baila Beid Echad? A woman's only usher with one uh, with two aid in that sorry bowl. Eid echad is not good enough. The kino vestira afil beid echadami. Kino vestira, even there's only one aid, right? <clears throat> if there was kino vestira, right? Uh, even one aid, I believe Allah has even one aid sees them being nistera, now secluded. That would ask her to create a suffix sota. Um, normally, though, you need to stay aid them. Uh, right? Kinev Asira is a chiddush. Eid Echad works. Obviously, Shtei Edim works. And Pesav Asuach, I was just telling you, has the same validity as Shtei Edim Dami. And now we're left with the end of Rezor's statement. What does it have to do with anything, right? So, <clears throat> so the Rezor was trying to tell you something. Why didn't they ask her about Shavah and David? Awesome, Ones Hava. Really, there, um, when she was with David, right? David told Uriah um, to go to the front lines or whatever, and he took his wife. He stole his wife from her, from him, right? Nasan and Navi said, right? She, he only has one wife. David had tons of wives. Why are you taking Bathsheba? It was she did it unwillingly. She didn't want to be with David. He raped her, sort of speak. She didn't want to do it. So therefore, she didn't become us, us her because we know in each Israel is only us her not by Ones. You might Alternatively, we can say, right, maybe it was Baratz and she wanted to be with David. The reason that she became Mutter is because of this statement. Or Yonasan says, the top of Tenamid Bey is, Kol Yosef Mechemes Bey's David, get Christos Kosev Ishta. Whenever David sent out army to fight a war, right, all the people already was part of the army, he made all the people going out to war write a get to their wife before they went out. So they're divorced because if we don't know they died, they'd be an Aguna. Um, because, like we learned in the Sakha if you don't know, if there's no Eidos, the husband died, she can't remarry. So they have to write a get so she knows she can remarry. This is uh, a Pasuk, which is telling you uh, that David and Shmuel, that David's father was telling him when people go to war, they should take Arvusam. What does that mean? They should take Arvusam. Tani Rav Yosef, Varam Muravim Beinolabeinah, it means. Things which are mixed, meaning the marital bond that's mixed between husband and wife, they should take it, they should remove it, and get a get. And that's where David learned to give a get to his army. The people in his army, he told the, the, the men fighting in the army to give a get to their wives before they left. So therefore, she was never married to Uri when he took her. So therefore, it wasn't Asia Sish. Amar Abaye, Afana, Namitanina, we could also bring a proof from our Mishnah to Rebbe Lezer. Sulan is saying, Amar Avili, Amar Avili, Amar Avili, Amar Mishnah says she gets married on a Wednesday. All right now on a Thursday, my time. What's the reason she gets married? On Wednesday, Mishum Akuri Daita, because Thursday is when they convene the base. Then, so we want him to wake up right away and come to base. And my ilam of laksuva, if it's a financial matter that we want him to make sure. Torah wants to make sure that he doesn't cool down and able to get his money back, right? Or able to get less, right? If he thinks he's marrying up Sula and she turned out to be a baula, so either he can do a mekach tos, he can revoke the whole marriage, or he can say, "I don't owe you two hundred, I owe you one hundred. We'll see in the coming dap and when you could say which. So, if it's for monetary purposes, right? It's not going to help the Gemara. It's going to have to go to the Ksuba anyway. Even if he comes and says, Pesach Matzulach Matzasi, right? He, he's not believed. What does what the Gemara mean? He's not believed. Over, you have to give her the Ksuba anyway. Give her the Ksuba of Masai. Because, <clears throat> I'm going to explain more, and Yon Ben I'll explain it, you know, in a couple of words now, is that, um, like, Fundamentally, we believe Rov Bikin and Bataya. And Vav, I'm in Bez, Rov Bikin Bataya. Most men know to put a pillow under the woman, the proper, the woman knows, she's taught in Kala classes, to put a woman to prop herself up, so therefore, the man will have ease going in and break the psulim. So therefore, Rov Bikin Bataya, we assume he comes and says, Pesach Masul Matsasu. Maybe you're lying. Maybe you're the one. The Gemara on Dab Yud says, we, we, we see it. We actually conclude there's ways 
of proving that she doesn't have Pesach, but maybe he was the one that, you know, caused her not to have Besulim. So, Rov Bikim Ataya tells us that probably he was the one that made the Besulim. Now, there are 20% of people, that's a Ruba Delezik one, 20% of people not Bikim Ataya. So, therefore, there's 20% chance, right? And maybe he's telling the truth, and maybe he has no idea what's going on, um, right? And it's very possible someone else. I mean, there's a small possibility, but again, right, she has 80% proof that it was him because we don't believe the guy. Why do you believe the guy? He, he's, he, he's no gay but over here. We don't believe the guy. We assume, we go back to the robe. We don't know if he's telling the truth or not. Robe became a guy. We assume he was the one that did it. Since he was the one that did it, that's a robe, right? Again, she's the one um, being multi mamun over here, right? She's the one that is, right? Ksuva, we don't understand like Beit Shammai that, that call me the Gubba's Gubba dummy. He has, she has to be multi mamun from the Ksuva. She could. Because she has 80% proof that it was him. Rove became by tie. It was him. Right? We have no idea what happened in the past. We assume it was he who did it. That makes more sense. Right? So you have to give her the ksuba so that the Mishnah can't be telling he's going to come to Basin and get his ksuba back. Right? He doesn't have enough proof. Right? She has 80% proof. He only has 20% proof. She could be mostly the mamon. Elder the Osra love must be talking about. Saying, the reason the Mishnah is saying they should come to do it is the Osra love. Rashi explains this more on Daf Beis. This is Rashi's explanation of the reason that he comes to Basin is he comes to Asar because we're worried that she might, right? We're talking about a case like the Mish, like the Gemara now, Tedam and Aleph says, where she's Nisha's Cohen, or she got Mikudeshes Kusa and Bas Gimel Shanim Yom Echad. So therefore, there's only one Suffolk, and therefore, Suffolk Asia is maybe she's actually the fact she has Pesach Asuach, right? If a Suffolk Del Raisa, maybe she's a, she's committed adultery. She has Sura and Basin is trying to make sure she doesn't remain married to someone she has Sura all of. And that's the whole point of basin over here. <clears throat> so Mario says, Lo, am I allowed to cut to Pesach Vasuach? I will also love to cut time to my. What time is he making? Love to cut time to Pesach Vasuach? Isn't he not making a time to Pesach Vasuach? Nor is it low to cut time to Tainas Domim. So the Gemara retracts over here. No, it's not a proof to Allah. Or maybe he's coming and making a Tainas Domim. What's a Tainas Domim? Tainas Pesach Vasuach, he comes and says, I was with her and I found that she didn't know Basulam. I was able to go in easy. There was no resistance. Um, <clears throat> Tainas Domim is he's not making a claim that it was easy to go in he says I was with her I'm not really sure if there was Basulim or not but I know that I went in and I didn't see any blood and normally when you break Basulim blood comes out and we don't know we don't have the, the towels anymore um, so we don't know if there was blood or not so that's the Gemara's answer he makes Tainas Domim that's what Mishnah's talking about Tainas Domim now <clears throat> there's various ways of understanding this Gemara let's just read Rashi for a second Tainas Domim the Taina of Ureris he says a better Taina Taina, it's more. It's a more short time. He's able to make that time with more clarity. If they didn't see blood, then say pesav asuach. Veleik lo lo kimle. Abal pesav asuach emulach lo kimle. He said, Rashi says a very strange thing over. He says pesav asuach is not so sure about. If he made a pesav asuach, tainas damim he's more sure about. I would say the opposite. It doesn't make more sense. No, if he's claiming and he says he was able to go in with no resistance, that's a, a clear claim that he's making, right? If he says, you know, I didn't see any blood, right? He's not telling us what happened with the psulim or not. Right, it's very possible he has no idea what happened to Basulim. It seems like he's not very experienced with what's going on here, or he's he's part of that twenty percent that's not Bikim Bataya. So he's not even saying the name of the Sulam. He can't conclude is there Basulim or not Basulim. He's just telling me there was no dumb, right? It's possible the Basulim are still there. And there's no blood because he didn't penetrate he didn't penetrate strong enough, right? I mean we find out after there's no Basulim, but I mean, his claim is a weaker claim, right? His claim, technically, according to his claim, it could still be Basulim. He's not sure about the Basulim. He just knows there's no blood. It's technically right possible that he touched the Basulim. He just wasn't strong enough to pierce it. What the Rashi's saying is Tainas Muvarer is better. He's more Kimle in Tainas Dhamim, Tainas Basulim. Is, it's not true. It's the opposite. I would say the Gemara is saying over here, no, it's Tainas Dhamim. And not that we're coming to Asr. We're going back to original Hector. It's Lahasita Ksuvasa. Right when he makes, if he makes the claim, you're you're making that claim. So we go back to the row. Rov became a die. Should we believe the guy? So Rov became a die. Eighty percent of people are became a die. He was the one that made pesach v'kasuach, but he's coming and he's saying Tanis dumb. He's saying I don't know what happened to the basulim. We find out afterwards there's no basulim, but you know he makes a weak claim over here. Tanis dumb. It sounds like it's more than he. It sounds like he's part of that twenty percent, right? Um, that are not became bataya. He doesn't know what's going on over here. He says no blood. He didn't say anything about the psulim. So therefore, it's not just 80% to 20%. He's actually part, it's more likely that he's part of the people that are not Bikim Bataya. And therefore, there's no longer a rove 
um, that he was the one that pierced the psulim, right? It's less than a rof, 70%, 50%. I don't know, what, whatever the percentage is, it's less than 8%. And once you fall less than 80%, you can't be multi mamon. Multi mamon, you can only be multi mamon with, um, with a rove or they aid them. You need a proof. Multi mamon, all over Aya. But Chazaka, so once it goes 70%, 71% or less, you can't be multi mamon. I basically told you the whole, you know, but uh, that's basically what the Gemara is saying over here. And then the Chesh of the Mishnah. The Mishnah is we're talking about Lafsi the Ksuvasa. That's the Chesh of the Mishnah. That we want him, he's making a Tainas Dhamim. He's making a Tainas Dhamim. When he makes a Tainas Dhamim, so therefore it's Mafsi the Ksuva. It loses the Ksuva. But she can't collect the Ksuva anymore because she doesn't have the robe anymore. So, the Gemara says, I'm going to be Shmuel. I'm going to be talking about Lafsi the Ksuvasa. Shmuel says, if you say Pesach Suvah, you can mafsi the Ksuvah. I'm Rabbi Yosef, my Kamash, but Allah was a Kiddush. Tanina, we have a mission like this. We're going to see a mission on that field base. Al-Khalil, it's a Chama of Yehuda. He goes in Yehuda, which is the lower portion of Eretz Yisrael. He goes, the Minag was to be Miyachet, to seclude themselves after the Erison with the with the fiance. Right? Al-Khalil, it's a Chama of, he goes and has a meal there by his father in law's house. Shalom, be Adam. Right, and they secluded without aid. Then we don't know what happened. You know, done that in Sulem. He can't claim after after he marries her and say, "Oh, she didn't have Sulem." Nisham is because we suspect he was the one that was with her. They secluded. Maybe they had Bia. So Bihuda, Bihuda do lamatzi toy. Only Yehuda where they had the, the minog, the custom of secluding themselves. Have a Galil in the northern part of Israel, matzi toy. He could make a dinas Sulem after the marriage. We don't assume it was him. Well, lamat yila osra la Bihuda mylo. If he's coming to answer him, why can't he answer? Shavisi now shechadi chadi surah. Right, he wants to say, right, um, it wasn't me; it was somebody else who was with her after the eris, and she committed adultery. Right, even right, even if it's seventy percent doubtful that he did, it's still okay. El lav lav the tuvasa must be lav the tuvasa because I didn't tie my. What's a tie? Is he making lav the katani and tie his pesvah sua? Is he made tie his pesvah sua? And he's believed to mafsi the tuvasa. And where's the blow? The katani tie his domim. Which is exactly the same maskan as from the first when we talk about Rebel Lazar. Now from Shmuel, we say that Misha is talking about Tain is dumb and left Sidak Suvas. And that's exactly how I explained in the first in Relazar's statement, the maskan of the Gemara it seems to be that Tain is dumb. He's making Tain is dumb in our Misha. And that's the reason our Misha left Sidak Suvasa. I'm just going to reiterate I'm in Eon Ben I basically said the whole Eon Ben Sion over here because it flowed and explained the Gemara, but I'm going to reiterate it uh, more in Eon Ben So check that out next, coming up right now.